laundering? They gonna come talk to me about money laundering? It is a speculative, it's, it's a speculative asset. Uh, by any account. I mean, when you look at the, at the most recent developments upward and now the most recent downward trend, it's, it, for those who had assumed that it might turn into a currency, terribly sorry, but this is an asset and it's a highly speculative asset, uh, which, um, which has conducted some funny business and some interesting and totally reprehensible money laundering activity. Fuck oh. off. <laughs> When Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was operating the world's largest drug cartel out of Sinaloa, Mexico, he was doing most of his banking through Europe's largest bank, HSBC. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved $881 million through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. And, and there has to be regulations and, and this, has to be, uh, this has to be applied uh, and, and agreed upon. Classic seethe. Authoritarians love doing the whole, but consumer safety and money laundering shtick when they're backed into a corner. It's a matter that needs to be agreed at a global level because, you know, if there is an escape, uh, that escape will be used. So I think it needs to be, to be if, if, if anything, it shows that global cooperation, multilateral action is absolutely needed, whether it's initiated by the G7, moved into the G20 and then enlarged, but it's something that needs to be, uh, to be addressed. If there is an escape, certainly an interesting choice of words. In other news, Big Soy has infiltrated crypto, so don't forget to hit the like button to destroy Big Soy, and ideally comment some sort of emotion to trick the YouTube algorithm into thinking that a sociopathic moment has taken place. The guard mentioned funny business. Translation. We can't have ordinary people making it. It really is ironic. Lagarde is literally a convicted criminal. No, only we can be corrupt. Only we can use the shadow banking system in offshore accounts to launder cartel money. You know, it's hilarious. One single scandal, the FinCEN leaks, revealed that $2 trillion of money laundering was conducted with fiat currencies by the big banks, which is about three times the market cap of Bitcoin. This is just one single scandal, yet they have the audacity to say that Bitcoin is used to loan the money. I'm sorry, I got to leave up out of here before I lose my damn mind. Ultimately, math is math. If Lagarde and all the IMF, G7, G20, WEF cronies say that two plus two equals five, it doesn't change the fact that the answer is four. But then let the company off with a DPA deferred prosecution agreement. The bank promised to mend its ways and paid a record $1.9 billion fine. Now a 16-month investigation by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists has found that HSBC went right back to the business of handling dirty money, at least $4.4 billion it considered suspicious. I mean, this is some shameful shit. 